Hey all, Aaron here. Last week I was in San Antonio, Texas, where I was helping teach an amazing group of people all about design and additive manufacturing. There'll be more to come on that later, but I'm telling you because in teaching, I saw and learned a great deal in regards to the struggles of new users. With that in mind, I have three sketch tips for you today. The first is actually something we showed in an earlier quick tip, but I wanted to reiterate it. It is that when using the line tool in a sketch, you can quickly and easily switch from creating straight lines to tangent arcs without ever needing to access another tool. All you need to do is left click and hold where the last line ended. The best part of this is that you can go from tangent arc to tangent arc or switch back to a straight line without digging through menus or otherwise moving focus away from what matters, what you're sketching. Next is how to quickly create disjoined line segments. To do this, some will resort to hitting the escape key to finish a line before starting the next. But that will take you out of the line command altogether, which is not the most efficient. Another way to do this is to use a small check mark provided near the end of the last entity. This will do just like it says, create and continue, meaning you won't need to restart the line tool, which is much better. Yet another way is even more efficient. Did you know that if you double click the last point, it will effectively do the same as the checkbox? Using this method, I can draw so many more lines and profiles than before. But for what I've done here, a pattern is really the best tool. Both of the previous tips are under the assumption that you're using the click and click sketch method rather than click and hold. That's where the students taught me something new. You see, if you click and move from an existing sketch edge, you can go off at any angle. However, if you click and hold before moving your mouse from an existing line, the resulting will be perpendicular to the previous. Which is very cool, unless of course you're trying to draw a non-perpendicular line. Since learning this, I've also realized that if you do the click and hold on a circle or arc, you'll automatically start drawing a tangent line, which is great to know. That does it for our tips today. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.